When compositing, hair is a problem. Sometimes you can get away with it, like in this shot, I just want to replace a sky, put your sky in, and a few stray hairs here and there, eliminated through animated masking or keying, and it doesn't really matter. Sometimes it does matter, like in this shot, after you've done your keying or your masking, it looks chopped off. Because the wind is blowing, we need to see the hair moving around, flicking and flying around. Because we are not using green screens and we are doing animated masks, and the result of that is hair that should be blowing around and the wind is chopped off, we're going to have to do a very tedious process of frame-by-frame touch-ups. So here we are in GIMP, the uh, free editing program, cross-platform. Go download it and start using it. We're going to just start, oh, here's a frame I've been working on, and now we're going to go into File, Open there, and open up some frames from the list of uh, frames that I have been working on. So let's open up, say, 10, just for now, as much as your computer can handle, and it will open them up as individual images that, from your sequence. Right, here is one that I have done here. Um, I could, let's go to the, the next one here. By pushing the 2 key, it will zoom in, and we can look at it. And we're going to select a brush, like just a drawing brush here, make a size of something a lot smaller, like maybe 4 pixels or something like that. And the color, I'm going to have something that I can either choose the a color there, or something that's a color there, something whitish looking, or just white. And also add a little bit of transparency too, I also think, maybe down to about here. So it's not going to be totally full. Now I could just uh, eyeball that and add some extras if, it, if I'm not too worried about what it's, how precise I want it. And just eyeball it. What I, but if I want a little bit more precision, I can go to that frame and go file open as layers and I'm going to go out of that list of ones I'm working on and go to my originals and since that was n number 601 I need to pick si just 600 it's got a one frame offset I think so let's find and open it and you can see it is the same frame now I can if I'm in a hurry and want a little bit more precision, I just click, I have that one on top so that I'm looking at it, and then click on the layer I'm going to be working on, and then I can roughly draw in on top of that a few hairs to give me a rough idea of what it's going to be looking like, and then turn it off, and that should give me a little bit of an idea of what it's going to look like. That's a little bit quicker, and I could save that, but if I wanted an even more, I can add an extra layer using the Add Layer button and have a transparent background and OK that. That will give me transparency. So now I can start to draw on top of that with my brush 4 and turn on that layer. using the eyedroppers to select colors or whatever and do a reasonable job of putting in some hair. I also would like to feather that out a little bit on the tips of those reduce the opacity of my eraser so that they're not quite so obvious there. Then, once I've finished, making sure I, t I can check that, and then go to File, Overwrite, and that will overwrite the frame with what you've done. I can go back and delete the last one I've worked on, then open up the next one, the two, another layer, transparent 
and then as my reference frame and go and open up the layer the next frame 601 and there I have my reference frame go back to my first one it should have saved by now select that layer that I've drawn on there and control C to copy that layer and then I can control selecting the layer of that's the transparent one control V to paste and select my move thing and then move that layer around until it's uh, on top of where it should be and then anchor it with the anchor and there it should be there then you can see clicking it on and off you can see what has changed between the frames in this case put up my opacity and I can see that there's some bits out here that have disappeared and also that over here then I can also then turn that on and off and find out oh there are some things that are new there so I can go back to my eraser no to my back to my brush and make it small again and then I can add extra little bits that have appeared by cutting and pasting that layer on you can save yourself some time and if there's let's go select from the original layer some brown ah, what you can do there is select that white and then take the other color and select a brown color for doing any brown colors there go back up here and now I can draw in a little bit more here around here and flicking it on and off you can see what's been added and what hasn't And then when you're satisfied, that's basically done. Once again, file, overwrite. Go back while it's right overwriting, I can get rid of the last one, close without saving, and prepare my next frame. A layer, zoom in, open as layers. There's my reference one, and I'm ready to then control C copy that layer and paste it onto that one there just adjust where that's gonna go and keep going at that <laughs> 